Well, I was finally going to get off my ass and do Robotech the Movies LP soundtrack. I know the songs are already on the CDs, but it's just something nice to have a vinyl version, but it's very dirty on this side. Now, I don't really have anything to clean it as such. I have this, which is like a velvety dust cleaner, and I've wiped both sides. Unfortunately, it's not strong enough. So I've got some of these yellow cloths, but I'll have to use something to clean it to clean the grooves. Now, I'm wondering if some of the cleaning solution from this thing will do. Put on the yellow cloth and wiped in carefully. I mean, the cleaning solution in this is the same as what you get in the VHS players. And from what I remember, it smelt exactly the same as the ones from the old LP cleaners. Uh, although my dad said he used to clean them with just very lukewarm water with a bit, bit of washing up liquid in it. If there's any record buffs out there, tell me if that works. Uh, these speakers I got from a job I did recently <clears throat> uh, and I sort of said they had this old PC and these were with them they've pushed in the actual reverberation point which is kind of annoying and the panel's missing on this side but I might open it up and see if I can push that out from inside they're not bad sounding <laughs> pretty loud for some little speakers Goodman's Active 35 20 watts power output integrated amplifier and speaker Uh, and it's also not a very neat system. I had a load of cables in that sort of box I have there. And some more loose ones. I don't have any proper bloody composite inputs to stereo normals. I've got this thing here. But I'm sure I bought a bloody ton of them because I'm always needing those. I can never find them. Uh, it is hooked up ready to be used, but like I say, I need to clean it. So I might hold off this and just do one or two of the singles. Let me know if there's any better way to clean it, because I don't think I'm going to attempt it for, for now.